what's going on guys so today i'm going to be working on big projects so we're gonna upgrade my mom's garage well i'm gonna upgrade my mom's garage we're gonna take out some of these squares and we're gonna add glass to them so i'm gonna cut out against the lines where you see the squares and i'm gonna use a ryobi edge grinder to cut out these bad boys with a thin cutting blade so let's get started guys so first thing first um safety is always first when you're cutting or using a blade or messing with glass you want to use gloves i got these gloves at the dollar store for just a dollar 25 man you would buy these at like home depot or lowe's for like 20 bucks 15 bucks even these glasses right here you know what i'm saying when cutting stuff you always want to wear glasses and you always want to wear gloves when you're using glass or cutting anything so just for a dollar 25 i got these two at the dollar store guys save your money you don't have to buy anything expensive so a good thing about these squares is i don't have to cut or measure anything because it's already pre-cut for me so I kind of measured this with a measuring tape and I picked up my glass at Lowe's to make sure that it would fit, the right fit. So kind of happy about that. You don't have to measure anything. You know what I'm saying? Like if I didn't have these, I would have to like measure and how much I want to cut from the square. So I'm just going to use these already built-in squares and we're going to cut them out. Let's get started. <laughs> So guys, the first square is done, as you can see here. It took about like five minutes, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of hard using, this is my first time using a, you know, an edge grinder. So it took me a little bit, but it took me like five minutes to be honest, but it's more like, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to mess it up and you're going to mess up because it's your first time, but it's okay. Nothing's perfect, but we got it done. So next step is to cut the rest and then move on to the next part. So guys, it's hot in here. My garage door has popcorn behind it, so it's kind of a pain. And I gotta scrape all this off, so I make sure that the glue can stick. But you know, it's about probably not gonna get done today. So probably gonna save the rest for tomorrow, but I'm gonna seal this one for tonight. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is now day two. Yesterday was an epic fail. I mean, epic fail. Um, I was trying to put the glass on the on the garage door and I was using this adhesive right here and it was taking forever to stick. And then the glass came down right on my arm, man, like right on my arm. That's one thing for sure. Never try to be a hero against glass. If a glass is falling, let it fall. Don't try to catch it. It's very dangerous. Cause just look at my arm right here, man. It's just like, barely missed my vein and it was crazy i just stood there in the garage like in panic more like oh what do i do it wasn't too bad it was just like a little scar you know it could have been a lot worse but day two guys i bought some new adhesive they said this is be like max strength so i'm gonna use this instead and i also got some gorilla tape just to hold the mirror in case it falls again so it won't fall on me and i'm gonna wear my jacket this time so let's get started That's it, y'all. That was the last square. Now, time for the glass one more time, guys. But this time, we're going to be safe. Let's do it. So it's show time. Like I said, this time I'm wearing a jacket just in case it tries to fall on my arm again. But this time, I think I'll be safe because, you know, I got duct tape and I got the glue. So, and I got Gorilla glue this time instead of the other glue, like I said. So, I'm going to apply some glue and then I'm going to put the mirror and I'm going to put this duct tape. And I'm going to do the bottom one first because it goes all the way to the bottom. So... I don't want to bend on the floor and try to put it. So bottom one first, guys. Stay tuned. So 
So they say third time is the charm. Guess what, guys? The glass didn't work, so I went and got some plasti glass, man, called Duolax by Plasco Light. So these are, are supposed to like act like glass, and they're really good. They're really doable, like you guys told me at Lowe's. So I went with these instead because the glass was just not working. It was not sticking out the bottom because like it was like sticking out. The metal was kind of sticking out. So we're gonna try this out, guys. Well, at least now I don't have to be really careful because it's not glass anymore. And I'm thankful for that. I should have did that from the beginning. But you know, it was worth to try to try out the glass. But we're gonna try this bad boy out right now. And let's see how it goes. So this has like two sides to peel. So it can look like the glass. Let's check this out, y'all. Looks just like glass, guys. Look at that. You can't even tell if it's glass or not. Isn't that crazy? It looks just like glass. So we're gonna give it a shot, man. Look at that. I think it's stick. It's amazing all right let's get to it so this thing is jammed so i have to push it out and use my fingers to get the glue out like so press it against my legs and i'll take some glue and then rub it i'm gonna put the bit of last it's tough man and here's the moment of truth i applied glue everywhere for the mirror Give it a shot, y'all. See what happens. Cross your fingers. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna smudge it in here. Like this. Oh, this is working out. Yes, sir. Man, thank you, Lord. that man make sure you smudge it in so it can stick so what i'm gonna do now to make sure it stays i'm gonna use some duct tape because like it's it's having a hard time staying right there because you know like the metal right there is just really bad so guys i actually ran out of glue um the loctite glue i was using the clear one so i went back to get another one this time i'm using a different one i seen somebody use this in their video and it worked pretty well this is an all-purpose heavy duty power grab and we're gonna finish up these two last glass guys. Stay tuned. How effective this one is. Here we go, y'all. Give it a shot. And right there. I strongly recommend using the Power Grab Heavy Duty by Loctite. It did a phenomenal job. I didn't even have to put a lot of pressure and it just grabbed it so quick. And this is less expensive. I bought this for like seven bucks. The other ones I bought it for like 12, 14 bucks. I should have went with this one. From the jump guys, so I strongly recommend this like I said. So I'm gonna finish up with this last one right here. And that's it guys, we're all done. And I'll show you the finished product. So guys, I'm finished with the garage door, thank God. But let me tell you this. Right when I finished putting the last glass, there was a bag on the floor and I heard this rattling. I'm like, oh my God, that has to be a snake. And you know, there's no access to the house unless I leave to the garage door. And as soon as I lift up the garage door, I ran outside and on my left side was a black racer, a Florida black racer right next to me. It would have been trapped inside with me if I not had ran outside. And man, I was glad I finished anyway, but I'm not finished all the way because I gotta add some like window film, like some type of mirror window film so that nobody could see what's going through the garage because it's definitely see-through as you can see right here when I show you the finished product. for watching you already know what to do subscribe hit the like button and stay tuned for the next part guys thank you for watching again ciao